Well, good morning uh, from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. And I'm Tanya Rivero, in for Vladimir Dutier. Here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. President Biden says Vladimir Putin cannot continue to talk with impunity about tactical nuclear weapons. We're going to break down the president's comments as Russia's latest assault on Ukraine continues. And more allegations against Herschel Walker. The Washington Post says the mother of one of his children claims she had to push him to pay for an abortion that he asked her to have. Details ahead. We are following developments in Los Angeles as protesters demand accountability from the city council. They want all council members caught up in the leaked recordings of racist remarks to resign. Plus, the jury begins deliberations in the death penalty phase of the trial for Parkland, Florida school shooter Nicholas Cruz. We've got a look at closing arguments and what his sentence could be. Plus, the women-driven protests in Iran are escalating despite a crackdown by security forces. Roxana Saberi is going to be joining us from London with the latest developments on that. It is really good to have you here. So uh, great to be here, um, Anne Marie. Another big story that we're going to talk about is this impending railroad strike. That's right. We thought it was averted. The Not president came out and did a press conference about it. Not so. Not I mean, so. It, this, they still have issues with vacation days, time off, yeah. right? I mean, they got more money and some other benefits, but, you know, they. They're not happy yet. It's not always mm -hmm. about the money. So nope. we're going to talk to somebody later on about that. In the meantime, President Biden says Putin miscal miscalculated his invasion of Ukraine. That's right. He also discussed the Russian president's nuclear threats. Here's what he told CNN in an interview that aired last night. When 